Greetings, fam. So God knows I've had my share of broken hearts. I don't chop breakfast, like Burner Boy would say. In other words, like many of you, there have been several people in my life who've endeavored to strip my dignity and conduct a full frontal assault on the image of God within me. Here are the steps that I took to avoid bitterness after brokenness. First, I had to recognize that choosing anger and bitterness in the brokenness is actually your choice. I may not have had any control over their action, but I did over my reaction. Secondly, I recognize that choosing the hurt, the anger, and the pain was all ultimately aligning myself with the people who hurt me. Just because they crossed my boundaries without mercy didn't mean I had to partner with them to reinforce and even prolong the effect of their actions. Third, I chose to lean into the brokenness to find my voice and my power because I ultimately recognize that anything that you relinquish power to control your past has the potential to control your future. And there was no way I was mortgaging my future to anyone. Number four, I sifted through the debris to determine if any of my actions actually contributed to the outcome. In instances that they did, I took ownership of those contributions. I forgave myself and resolved to do better. Number five, I chose to stop outsourcing my peace and joy to anyone else. And finally, I chose compassion towards the people who hurt me by praying for their healing. This was a tough one, but the more I directed hope and healing towards them, the more I found that those things were actually taking up more space within my own heart. Those are my thoughts of the day. Do with them as you will. Blessings.